So we not only just wanna look at the trends of the individual stocks and are they above certain moving averages, are they at certain um, periods of, of new highs or lows, we can also look at market breadth from a momentum standpoint. And so a common, a common gauge of momentum is called the relative strength index, the RSI. It's, it's probably one of the default indicators on a lot of different charting platforms and packages. And it tells us if momentum is rising or falling. Some people will use an RSI to gauge an overbought or oversold market. But if we look at the general consensus for a market, how many stocks are above, have an RSI over 70? Or how many stocks have an RSI under 30? Which is what often is, is deemed oversold or overbought. We can determine our, our, is the momentum of individual stocks improving or decreasing? And so we can see, looking again at the 2018 period, we started seeing less and less stocks with overbought momentum, telling us that momentum was beginning to weaken during that time period. Um, and in fact, when the market began to decline, we started seeing more stocks oversold. Well, stocks that are oversold is telling us that there's weakness, that it's, it's bearish momentum. And again, so then coming into the COVID period, the COVID crash, we again started seeing a lot less stocks that were seeing strong momentum and it started seeing expansion and weakness and, and poor momentum. Then again, we can see here, look to the current year to where uh, before the, the NASDAQ reversed, we started, we saw it at, at, right after the low, this big expansion in the percent of RSI above 70 to where it broke out above two, 3% and started to make multi-month highs of stocks that were seeing really strong momentum. And at, again, as of August 8th, we had a little over 10% of the NASDAQ composite with overbought momentum, showing really strong signs of momentum. And during the summer months, we didn't see that same expansion of oversold like we did during uh, 2018 or during the COVID crash. We saw kind of it peak out at 30% and never really saw that expansion of selling telling us that maybe that momentum isn't getting a lot worse during the summer. And then we eventually did see the strength from a momentum standpoint of individual stocks. So we can evaluate stocks trends, looking at 52 week highs or different period highs, but we can also look then at the momentum of individual stocks. So there's different gauges and different ways we can evaluate how are individual equities, are they healthy, are they in uptrends, or are they unhealthy, and are they in downtrends from a price perspective, as well as from a momentum perspective.